From downward facing dog, you jump through to seated for Purvottanasana. So Purvottanasana, the hands are going to come behind you. This can be a challenging pose. So one of the ways I modify if people are really with their legs straight, if you can hardly lift up and it's just a struggle here, I'll have my students modify with their feet hip distance and do like an upright table. This is going to help them to open up in here in the top of their chest and in between the arms and the chest, so in their shoulders. So fingertips pointing forward. Um, what we want to make sure of here is that the inner hands don't lift. In both the modification and the full variation, we want to really press the inner hands down. It's okay to turn the hands slightly out if it helps you to take the upper arms back and open the chest. But eventually, you really want to keep the wrists parallel to the front of the mat. So hands pointing straight forward. As you press down into the feet, press down into the hands, you lift the hips up and lift the chest up. Now, if it's okay, you can drop the neck back. If this creates too much tension in the neck, then you can just look forward or look straight up to the ceiling. Okay. In the full variation of Purvottanasana, again, fingertips are pointing forward. We make sure to press the inner hand. You take the heads of the arm bones back. And right here, you're already starting to do the work of Purvottanasana. The chest is pulling forward as the heads of the arms go back, and then the toes point forward, lift the hips up, reach the toes to the floor. Now what will often happen here is this. The inner edges of the feet lift up, which is the same as what happens in Paschimottanasana. So we really want to push down through the inner edges of the feet, pull the outer edges of the feet back. So we're trying to inward, rotate inward with the thighs to press the inner inner edges of the feet down. Then the hips lift up, chest lifts up, and we hold for five breaths. If you can, you tip the head back. It's one, two, three, four, and five. and then you'd release. We'll take the hands in front of the hips again and take our vinyasa.